I'm here at the Mid-America Truck and Show 2022. You know that I meet some of the coolest people with some of the coolest trucks. I'm here with Brad. Good Dude, to meet you. Yeah, Brad, tell us a little bit about your awesome truck because this thing is super unique. I, I was admiring it earlier and then you came up and introdu introduced yourself and you started telling me about your truck. I'm like, hold on, hold on. We need to get the camera out and catch this so that people can get to know your truck. So, Brad, take it away, man. It's a 77 A model. Okay. Uh, it's got a bent 60 inch sleeper. Got the idea from Mr. Flamfield. <laughs> Shucks. Uh, it's uh, cut out to a, a big hole. It's not an actual Peterbilt hole, but mm -hmm. the opening's the same size. Awesome. Um, pretty much just front to back, redone it in a, two and a half months. Uh, wow, is that all it took you to do? Two and a half months. Oh yeah. my word. That wow. was for the paint, the sleeper, fabbing the sleeper. I made it air ride cab and sleeper. Wow. And then uh, swapped late model hubs on the front. Uh, I already awesome. had the cutoff done from the previous time sure. for it. I sure. ran the truck roughly six years before I decided to redo it again. Gotcha. And, okay. uh, you know, it wow. had a little 36 inch sleeper on it. It was a day cab when I got it. Bought okay. it out of a junkyard. Really? Yep. Wow. And uh, had a 335 small cam from the factory Super and cool. uh, drove it home, <laughs> put a Volvo air ride on it and uh, hey, that's done awesome. the 36 inch bunk for a while and uh, kept it the sit down hole. Sure. Yep. For a while, that makes and sense. then yeah. uh, I ran out of leg room. <laughs> so I, said, I know exactly how that feels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly yep. what you're saying. That's awesome. Now you were telling me you're you're out of Alabama. Is yes, that correct? North All right. Alabama. How Alabama far out do you usually take your truck? We uh, usually run a 150 to 400 mile radius. I normally run full time to uh, North Alabama to Birmingham, gotcha. and then uh, reload and come back up towards Huntsville. Okay. Then just reload for the next day yeah, that's and awesome. uh, every once in a while I'll go off been to Miami once or okay. twice uh, yeah. go up into Kentucky some sure run sure. a lot of used to run a lot of Mississippi but that played okay. out and sure went to Georgia for a while and okay. got into the Birmingham and sure. kind of stayed there as long as I can <laughs> there you go now what do you mostly haul what? I haul steel, steel. Uh, we okay. haul coals down and then I usually bring brick lumber gotcha and just all kinds of miscellaneous stuff sure. back Okay, and, uh, so flatbed mostly? Yeah, or flatbed only, okay. that's all I do. That's cool. Yep. Then that's uh, we cool. do haul a few of those, the big galvanized light poles, the yeah. long stuff. Yep. And that's originally what we used to haul overlink pipe a lot to okay. uh, Birmingham. Yep. So I had a little bit longer stretch just for that. Sure, okay. And uh, then that's started awesome. back with the coals. <laughs> yeah, yep, absolutely. Yep. Now what's your wheelbase? It is 275. 275. Not just too, too long, but yeah. with that 36 inch it looked pretty long. And right, right. Yeah, that's awesome. Now what do you have for power plant? Maybe you told me already. It but. is a uh, 315 Big Cam 4 block and okay. it's a bunch of jumbled up stuff. Just uh, It's mainly 400 parts in it now. HT60 okay. turbo, big yeah. injectors. Okay. Uh, Time has re been retarded on it. So sure. It's right at 550, 600. Gotcha. You got it right like where you want yeah. it. Yeah. Enough that it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I know all about that too. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. You're on the 13 speed or 18? 15 over. 15 oh. with 308 rears. Whoa. Hey. Yeah. That's pretty that's cool. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Atta boy. Very yeah. cool. It takes a little bit of power to get that one rolling. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Now, can you, can you walk yes, us around the truck so. a little bit? Show us. Yeah, Show us what nothing you, real got. fancy. I ended up having to put a new hood on it. Mine was busted up so oh, okay. bad. I bought a Titan hood sure. put on it. Yeah. Um, I love the colors that you chose. Yeah. It's just fantastic that yeah, and like was that a scheme that you already or that like the colors what no, made you, okay i actually i had an international travel off okay and i bought uh was going to paint it the same color it's two-tone green okay it's the same dark green here sure and then, uh, i ended up deciding i like the cream and brown oh yeah so we went with that oh uh, it, it turned out pretty nice it's just beautiful now yep. this you must have redone your interior also yes. right yeah okay and the cheapest way possible this is all <laughs> nothing eBay wrong with that. vinyl hey man and that's i bought totally it already cool. quilted and i made the door panels myself uh, same super... thing with the sleeper it's the same material and all wow. just as cheap as i can get it done that's hey, how i do it <laughs> nothing wrong that's exactly how i roll too man and most of the people that watch this channel they feel the same way they're like and, uh, do it yourself i have uh, the glow 
shift gauges in it. I changed all the gauges oh, out, wow. GPS speedometer. Yeah. You know, a little bit updated. Absolutely. Makes it a little bit nicer. A little new. If you're running a truck like this all the time, you have to yeah. be able to do things like that to, you know, modernize yeah. certain areas like that of the truck to make it usable. Then that I actually the wire harness was trash in in the dash. That's the main reason I took oh, the truck apart. Okay. So I bought a Speedway Performance hot rod kit and then just oh. added an extra fuse panel for the chicken lights and all that. Very so cool. It worked out really good. Yeah. And, and it actually I was surprised the uh, harness for the front was long enough that it actually reached. I didn't have to splice anything on it. I just wow. had to add to the back. <laughs> yes. That's Got super lucky cool. There. Yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> Being a Jair, uh under dash kit on it. Just yeah. Yeah. Basic cheap stuff. That's cheap really smart. You, I, you know, that's that's what I did with the sleeper yeah. uh, heater in my truck, too. I love it. I think it works yeah. awesome, you know? And I actually and, don't even have a heater or anything in it, which I haven't. Hey. It, was, it worked all right this year. I don't yeah. know if I'll handle the AC not being in there with that sure. big sleeper, but sure. we're going to try it this summer and see how it goes. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, let's see. This side doesn't have any doors. Is there a door on the other yes, side we can is. open up? Yeah, let's take a peek inside. Or if you want to open up the hood, it's up to you. There's no pressure at all. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did a great job, man. That looks really, really good. Excuse me. I like the choices that you made. I really do. I think it's very cool. And you said you opened up the hole to give yourself more leg room. You went, yeah. Consider like a Peterbilt ring that you used, or what? What is it? No, it is not. The uh, it's called accordion boot. Uh, and all it does is more for like pickups where they put the fiberglass camper shells mm -hmm. on. So it's made to sit on the lip. Yeah. So all I did was use angle aluminum. And sure. Made the outer ring myself. Yeah. And then use that because you can buy the boot by the foot. You know? Absolutely. So, yeah. That's really cheaper. smart. Yeah, they wanted like six hundred bucks for rings. I'm like, I'm not paying that. No, I'm man. Twenty dollars worth of angle aluminum would get it done. <laughs> man, that's cool. See, I love guys like you that are just figuring out a way to just yeah take care of the problem and, and, and do it yourself. Of, which yeah. I don't know if you can really tell it or not, but that's kind of how I did the. Uh, it's the original international oh, yeah. uh, subframe, and then I just made the two frames that connect up to the front bushes for yeah. the air ride. Yep. And then uh, made my cab mounts and all. Yeah. yeah. Exhaust to work. That's really Float smart. Yeah, make it all work together. Yeah. You gonna take us under the hood? Yeah. Awesome, man. Not much there, but a leaking coming. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I know all about that. Yeah. Trust me. Yep. No, this is no, great. This not too bad. Oh yeah, man! I think that's beautiful. Yeah, it looks a great. couple of catch rags everywhere. You hey, know. you know that's that's how I roll. Shoot, anytime my truck's in the shop, I gotta slide cardboard underneath it. You know, just that's that's part of having an old truck. How many miles are on this thing? Uh, roughly, uh, it's right around 600,000. It didn't have okay. a ton of miles when I bought the truck. Gotcha. And the last 20 years, it had been used for a pullout truck for hauling logs out of the woods. And uh, so after, she got it back, you know. Yeah. And uh, I put 200,000 on it since I've had the truck. Okay. And I think in the last couple months, I haven't put but like 3,000 on it, you know. Sure, sure. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Is it all right? Catch that on. Can we walk around by your suspension? And tell me again what you use back here for your. This is a Volvo uh, suspension, and I've just done the splash right back here. Yeah. Okay. Right there. And you did all the work yourself. Yep. Like any, everything. Everything is done in house yourself. The only thing that I haven't done, and that was the uh, synchronizer went out on the transmission a few months ago, sure. and I didn't have time to mess with it. I've done <laughs> one before. Okay. I don't really want to try it this time, not for what I can get it done right? for. Exactly. I, I would feel it out and yeah. took it to a friend of mine let yeah. him do it. I totally understand. Any any particular reason you chose Volvo? Uh, just as good as a 
Pete Lowly, but half yes. the price. <laughs> I love that answer. I really do. Yep. And the more guys I've talked to, I would have the same answer. And so it, it's it's awesome that we can we can talk to guys that say, hey, you know, Pete's cool, but I'm all about trying to do something like this on a yeah. budget. And and so I I really admire that you're yeah. doing work. Well, like that's that. what I've told so many people over, and I said, you know, if if you want a nice air ride, go buy an international or haul. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Never go back. That's right. <laughs> The, the parts are readily available. Well, I mean, I a, you know, I kind of joke about it. To it. And, uh, every time you go to Peterbilt to get anything, they want a VIN number. Uh-huh. Each time I went to go get some stuff for the Volvo, they're just like, "What year is sure. it?" And that, they, yeah. they go right back there and get it. Exactly. Yep. You got the gear ratio you wanted. Yep. Readily available parts, and uh, you're updating it as you go. And man. That's that's super cool. What would you say is your favorite part of this build that you've done so far? What do you like the most about what you've done? I don't really know. I would probably say the air ride cab just awesome. because it, it makes yeah. my back feel better. <laughs> there you go. That's a great answer. Do you have plans in the future then for what you want to do to the truck from here? Um, or you I don't really good? know. I, I think the, probably the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do an air ride front axle awesome. on it. Uh, yeah. I wanted to kind of see how everything played out with the way it was. and I think it rides still a little bit better if I had that. So I agree. Uh, I'm going to do that. Um, awesome. Really don't know of anything much else sure. that I'm going to do for a while. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Oh, that's super cool. Well, man, thank you for taking the time to show us this truck. This is super awesome, and it was great to meet you, Brad. Yeah, man. All right, buddy. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your show.